I cry you mercy, sir. Well, wish you had not found me here so musical. But let me excuse me, and believe me so. My mirth is much displeased, but pleased my woe. Tis good, though music oft hath such a charm to make bad good, and good provoke to harm. <laughs> I pray you tell me, hath anybody inquired for me here today? Much upon this time I have promised here to meet. You have not been inquired after I have sat here all day. I do constantly believe you. <laughs> the time has come even now. I shall crave your forbearance a little, and maybe I shall call upon you anon for some advantage to yourself. I am always bound to you. Very well met and well come. What is the news of this good deputy? He hath a garden circumferred with brick, whose western side is with a vineyard backed, and to that vineyard is a planched gate which makes an opening with this bigger key. This other doth command a little door which from the vineyard to the garden leads, and there I have made my promise upon the heavy middle of the night to call upon him. But shall you on your knowledge find this way? I obtain due and wary note upon it. With whispering and most guilty diligence he has shown me the, he has shown me the way twice o'er. Are there no other tokens between you agree concerning her observance? None, but a repair in the dark, and that I have possessed in my most day can be but brief. Tis well borne up. I have not yet made known to Mariana a word of this. Of what ho within, come forth. I pray you be acquainted with this maid. She comes to do you good. I do desire the like. Do you persuade yourself that I respect you? Good friar, I know you do and have found it. Take then this thy companion by the hand, who hath a story ready for your ear. I shall attend your leisure, but make haste. The vaporous night approaches. Well, please you to walk aside. Oh, place and greatness. Millions of false eyes are stuck on thee. Volumes of reports run with these faults and most contrarious quests upon thy doings. Thousand escapes of wit make thee the father of their idle dreams and rack thee in their fancies. Welcome. How agreed. She will take the enterprise upon her father if you'll advise this. It is not my content, but my entreaty to. <laughs> Little have you to say when you depart from him, but soft and low. Remember now, my brother. Now fear me not. Oh, nor fear you not at all, gentle daughter. For he is your husband on a pre-contract. To bring you thus together, tis no sin. Since that the justice of your title to him doth flourish the deceit. <laughs> Come, let us go. Our corns to sow, but our tides. Remember now my brother. 